Hello, this is the intuitive heart and welcome. In today's pick a card, we'll be looking at what makes you shine. In front of you, there are four piles. I'd like you to pick one of them. Pile one will be the cat's charm on the top left. Pile two, the blue lace agate bracelet. Pile three will be the coin's charm bracelet, bottom left. Or pile four, the dice on the bottom right. Hello, pile one, and this is your reading for all those that choose the cat's charm. Let's see what cards you've got. You've got the Law of Attraction. The Squirrel of Spirit. Believe in yourself. Serendipity. Ace of Cups The Three of Cups The Moon And the Seven of Wands Part one, there's so many things that make you shine. Firstly, your your aura is very welcoming, it's very warm, it's very magnifying. I could tell you're very attractive people, physical appearance wise as well as persona and energetically. You're someone who is larger than life. You may hold where your heart on your sleeve. You're a free spirit, you love being in nature, you have, a, you have a fondness for animals and nature and the outdoors in general. You just seem to have this magical air about you where you trust in the universe. You're a bit of a traditional romantic type, you believe in the universe fate and destiny. Also with the squirrel spirit, believe in yourself, it tells me you've worked a lot on your self confidence, your self esteem and that's very that's what makes you shine, the fact that you're humbly confident. Another thing that makes you shine is the fact that you're a provider. You're able to work towards your heart's desires. You're a sentimental person. You, you collect things that are meaningful to you. Also another thing that makes you shine, I feel, is you're very good at a particular type of craft. I'm not sure what this will be. It could be in cooking. You could be a fantastic cook. You could be a great artist. You could be a good designer, you could be great at textile, sewing. But there's something about you that makes you stand out from the crowd. It's your air, it's your free-flowing creativity, creative energies that shines outwards. You're a very green person, you love nature, you probably even recycle quite a bit. Because you believe in looking after yourself as well as your surroundings. With the Ace of Cups, it tells me you're a very emotionally giving person. You wear your heart in your sleeve. And if anyone's in need, you're always there to help them. So that's another quality that makes you shine. With the Three of Cups, it tells me you're a very joyous person. You may have a small group of friends, whether large, big or small group of friends. It's almost like you're the centre, you're the life of the party. You bring everyone together. 
you love celebrations, you're just a happy, positive person. Another thing that makes you shine is the fact that you're able to go within and reconcile issues with your intuition. It tells me you're quite intuitive and you trust yourself. You trust your inner wisdom and your inner guide. Your friends and your family admire you for your problem solving skills. It's all, almost like when there's a problem, you don't panic, you just remain calm and collected because you believe in just not allowing life's issues to affect you in a way where you have to go around running like a headless chicken. You'd rather take a moment out and sleep on things for clarity to come. So that's what makes you shine because people look up to you for your calmness for your problem solving skills and abilities. Another thing that makes you shine is your playful nature. You could have a very good sense of humour. You may even prank people at times and play jokes, but your sense of humour is always in a loving way. It's never ever offensive it's just done in a very cute kind of like um endearing way i feel like amongst your circle of friends you are well respected you may have two or three very close friends that you trust they feel very grateful to have you in their life because you're always someone who's there for them. You're a great listener, you're very nurturing and you're very protective. Another thing that makes you shine is that you're just a very magical person. You have this air of magic around you. You're someone who's very balanced. You're not easily swayed by other people's opinions because you'd rather go inwards to find the truth and the answers. You're, in terms of um, group opinions, you're very neutral. You'd rather not be one-sided but rather look at the bigger picture and embrace everyone's differences, everyone's opinions. No matter what life throws at you, you're always calm, balanced and loving. You forgive and you move on. You're a person that lives in the present. You trust, you fully entrust the universe. You fully entrust yourself and you fully entrust in your team. You believe in the law of attraction, you believe in serendipity, you're just very f flowing, free flowing. You're a great problem solver, you're very intuitive, you're very healing to others, your energy is healing to others. So that's another thing that makes you shine and stand out. People love being in your company, but sometimes I do feel you kind of retract into your own solitude because that's what helps you re-energise your energies. You understand the balance of give and take, social time and alone time. You're also very good at conflict resolution, which is another fantastic skill you have. There's so many things that make you shine, part one. It's just about embracing them, accepting them within yourself. Sometimes I feel like this group doubts themselves, but it's really important to also embrace what you're good at and what makes you shine and be proud of it. If it resonated and you liked this reading, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. 
Hello Pile 2, this is your reading for those that choose the blue lace agate bracelet. Let's see what cards you've got. You've got giving and receiving. Imagine. Horse spirit, freedom is yours. The devil card. King of Pentacles. Queen of Cups. And the Three of Wands. As I tune into the energies for group part 2, I can tell you're a very balanced group. So what makes you shy? There's a number of things that make you shy. You have wonderful creativity abilities, skills and abilities. You're able to look at the broader picture in life. You're somewhat of a daydreamer, a visionary. You have strong visual skills. You're very good at brainstorming new ideas and coming up with new ways of doing things. You're very innovative. So your creativity, your skills of innovation, it's just some of the qualities that makes you shine. Your balanced nature is another quality that makes you shy. You're someone who's very stable, reliable and self-assured. You're very down to earth and you're very connected to earthly things. Things like nature and things like earthly needs. You're good at providing and looking after yourself. Another thing that makes you shine is your emotional balance. You know when to give and you know when to step back. So you've got that give and take fine tuned. You're someone who can look outwards, look at the bigger picture, broader picture. You're someone who can plan ahead. You're very humble in your decision making. You're very to trust your inner logic as well as your intuition to make decisions. In the past you relied on other people for help and support but it feels like you've come into your own. You're now able to stand on your own and do what feels right for you. People have noticed this, your independency, your independent streak, your practicalities and your logical sense. So that's what makes you shine. You're the person that people go to for practical advice and balanced opinion. You're seen as someone who moves forward. You've got lots of energy. You're a robust character, you're very charming, and you're a fighter, you're a survivor. So that's what makes you shine. You're a fighter, you're a survivor, you're a warrior. You can keep moving, going forwards rather than backwards. 
Another thing that makes you shine, I feel, is your external physical appearance. You just have this air of strength about you. You may have very beautiful shiny hair. You may have something really charming about you. Beautiful eyes, something striking. There's something striking about you that makes you shine on it external physical plane with the devil card it tells me another thing that makes you shine is that you're able to look at the light and the darkness of life you're not someone who's judgmental because you're so balanced you can see why people do the things they do you don't judge so that's another thing that is admirable about you that makes you shine the fact that you're very open-hearted you're able to see all viewpoints you're very understanding or you're very interesting you have a wealth of knowledge it feels like in this group there could be therapists healers counselors so you'll work for your wealth of inner knowledge is translated outwards in the type of work that you do or the vibe that you send out so that's what makes you shine you was just a very wholesome person also another thing that makes you shy is your gift of vision your gift of looking into the future you may be a clairvoyant or you may even have mediumship abilities, gifts and abilities which makes you shine because people know you actually provide grounding and sound and solid advice. So your nature, the fact that you don't give up, you're a fighter, you're a survivor, you're a warrior and your big creative abilities is what makes you shine. There's so many things that make you shine, Pa, too. Your kind-heartedness, your giving nature, your compassionate nature, your creativity, your balanced well viewpoint, your non-judgmental personality. You're a very giving person. The strength of character is very obvious to others, which others admire. There's so many good things about you that makes you shine, but it's about embracing who you are and self-acceptance, knowing you're good enough, more than good enough, and to continue just being yourself. Okay, part two. This brings me to the end of your reading. I hope it helped and it resonated. If it did, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Many thanks. Hello Par 3 and this is your reading. For all those that chose the coin charm bracelet. Let's see what cards you have. You've got, there's nothing to worry about. The Badger Spirit, be fearless and bold. Yang. Judgment. Queen of Swords. Justice. And the Queen of Pentacles.
Wow. Pile three, you have some very outstanding qualities about you that makes you shine. I'll firstly touch upon the Queen cast that you've got. So you've got the Queen of Swords and you've got the Queen of Pentacles. The Queens are, they represent stable characters. Characters that are established in a particular area. The fact that you've got the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles tells me you're very grounded in your decision making abilities. You're very intelligent. The Queen of Pentacles tells me you're grounded and practical and you're able to provide for your own needs as well as for those around you. You're probably quite good at manifesting as well. You're someone who's a go-getter. So I think that's one of the main gifts that others admire about you. The fact that you're a go-getter, you're self-assured, you're confident. And you're very intelligent in making decisions. With the justice and the judgement card... It tells me you're someone who's very fair in your outlook. You're fair in most situations. You're able to weigh the pros and cons for yourself as well as those around you. You're someone who is able to appreciate the good things in life and also be grateful for the challenges because they've taught you very well. So you'll put someone who's very grateful for life experiences. People really admire your strength of character, your intelligence, your smartness and your shrewdness. What makes you shine is that you're someone who never gives up you're, and you're a very grateful person. What makes you shine is your fearless nature, your boldness, your confidence. You don't allow fears to get to you. You're very brave. So that's what makes you shine. You just embrace who you are. You know who you are. You've done a lot of work, inner work, so you're self-accepting as well as you accept others for who they are. When it comes to your dreams, you're a go-getter, you're proactive, you're energetic. You have firm morals. You have your own set goals, which you go out to, to get, to achieve. What makes you shine is your beautiful character, your sense of inner knowing, your beauty, your inner and outer beauty. You look after yourself. You may surround yourself with a lot of decadent things. Or if not decadent, more like um, decorative, flowers, possibly colourful ornaments, colourful paintworks, colourful fabrics of some sort, which is what makes you shine. I feel like in this group, a lot of you have your own sense of style. You dress to fulfil your own needs. You dress as to what suits you, what you feel suits you. You don't, I don't feel like this group you follow the crowd. You have your own dress style which is very beautiful and it's kind of extravagant but and bold at the same time. Which is what makes you shine. So in a crowd you, you stand out. Also in this group I feel there's a lot, you have a lot of divine masculine qualities about you. With the Yang card, it tells me you're tapped into your go-getting and powerful nature. 
you could hold a lot of fire elements in your natal chart. Your go-getter, your confidence, you have tremendous drive to move forward. You're not someone who would worry over the small details. You'd rather look at the bigger picture in life. So that's what makes you shine as well. The fact that you're very realistic. People admire your go-getting ways. I feel like this group, you're also very creative. You have a lot of fire elements about you. You're fi you could be fiery. You could be you're very confident. You're self-assured. You're very well balanced internally and externally. Also, what makes you shine is the fact that you can help motivate people. Anyone who's lost drive and enthusiasm in life and in their goals, you're able to motivate them and empower them to take the steps needed to fulfil their dreams. You were just a really good person to have around. You have very strong qualities in mentoring and coaching. You're a good advisor because you're so grounded but yet you're intelligent in, in your moves, in your approach. There's so many fantastic qualities that make you shine. Those are just some of them. I hope this reading helped and it resonated. If you liked it, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Many thanks. Hello Powerful and this is your reading for all those that chose the dice. Let's see what cards you've got. You've got Go For It. Two to see. Dog spirit, be loyal to what you love. The magician. Page of pentacles. Five of Swords, and the Seven of Swords. So power four, what makes you shine? There's many factors that make you shine, power four. But the ones that are very obvious, that sh stand out, is your loyal nature. You're very trustworthy and reliable person. You always stick to your morals and your convictions. You do what feels right to you. You're not easily swayed by others' opinions or way of life. You'd rather go in a direction that feels right to you. You've got a really good balance of emotional intelligence as well as intellectual intelligence. You enjoy spending time in nature. I feel like this group, you're quite a magical group as well. I feel this group may have a connection or you may work with the elements. It feels like 
you're quite outdoorsy person as well. You're homely as well as outdoorsy. You love nature. For some of you, you may have a connection with the water, the sea, the ocean. What people love about you is that you're able to discern what isn't working for you. You're, you're able to release what's limiting you. You're very thoughtful. Take time to gain clarity. You don't make decisions on a whim. Your decisions are well thought out. You also are an ideas type person. You come up with some wonderful ideas. You're quite good at embracing new beginnings, which is what makes you shine. You don't allow your mental hardships or your cloudiness to hold you back. When you feel mental dis-ease or, or cloudiness, you take time out to think on things. So you're a very well thought out person. You rather sit on an idea, sit on a decision before making them. So what makes you shine is your very thoughtful nature, your patient nature and your diligent nature. This is a group that's probably quite good at decision making summing up the best outcome to take, the best solution. I feel some of you in this group may have jobs where you're in charge or you are part of a decision making process. You're able to use your intellect as well as abide by regulations to move forward. You have very good creative manifesting abilities. That's what makes you shine. People can see that you're co-creating your reality. You're someone who's very adaptable to change. You're good with new beginnings as well. What makes you shine is your depth of experience gifts and talents, as well as the depth of knowledge about human beings. You're very intelligent, but you're not hasty in your decision making. You take your time to do, you take your time to decide what feels right to you. You sit on things, you're patient, you're thoughtful. Also, I feel like another thing that makes you shine is the fact that you're very supportive to those around you. You motivate others to take steps towards their dream goals. You may even offer them new ideas or help in some shape or form. Your loyalty is appreciated by your close family and friends as well as your colleagues. In a work environment people look at you for problem solve and come up with new ideas, new ways of doing something. You may be quite good at streamlining processes. You're someone who would see a project from see a project through from beginning to end. You're technacious, you're hard working and you're reliable. So these are qualities that makes you shine. You can see at home you love having baths or showers. You love pampering yourself. You have great self respect. You practice self love. And self-care which is admirable other people look at this and they see that you're very respectful of your own time energy and 
you take care in your appearance. You may even look after your health, you may be into fitness and healthy eating. I feel like some of you may have even have expertise in superfoods, which others really appreciate. You share, you share what you know with others to better their lives. There's so many things that make you shine, powerful. Those are just some of them. I hope you enjoyed this reading and it resonated. If you liked it, please like, share and subscribe to this channel. Many thanks.